T-38 Talon, the world's first supersonic jet trainer. Hello everyone and welcome to US Military Power Channel. This episode is about the T-38 Talon, a supersonic trainer jet with a lot of history of service to air forces around the world. Here we look at the T-38 Talon's design, performance, variance, and contributions to aviation history. The T-38 Talon is a twin-jet supersonic jet trainer produced by American Aerospace and Defense Company Northrop Grumman, and it first flew in 1959. The company built 1,187 T-38 twin-jet trainer aircraft, and more than 72,000 U.S. Air Force pilots have flown the T-38 since it entered service in 1961, when it was the world's first supersonic trainer. The aircraft was developed as a supersonic trainer to prepare pilots for high-performance fighter jets, and it quickly proved to be an effective platform for advanced flight training. Despite its age, the T-38 Talon remains in service with several air forces around the world, and it continues to receive upgrades and modernization efforts to keep it relevant and effective in modern pilot training programs. Design and Performance The T-38 Talon has a slender fuselage with a low-mounted swept wing design, its powerful twin engines are mounted at the base of the wing, and it has retractable landing gear. The T-38 has a top speed of Mach 1.3 and a service ceiling of 55,000 feet, making it one of the fastest and highest flying trainer aircraft in the world. The aircraft is equipped with a pressurized cockpit that can accommodate two crew members in a side-by-side -side configuration. The T-38's avionics suite includes an inertial navigation system and a radar altimeter. It's also equipped with a variety of sensors and communication systems to simulate real-world combat scenarios during training. Because of its design, economy of operation, simplicity of maintenance, outstanding performance, and remarkable safety record, the T-38 Talon is a twin-engine high-altitude supersonic jet trainer utilized in a number of tasks. The T-38A is used by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, Air Combat Command, and Air Force Material Command in a variety of capacities. And it also has played a role in research and development programs, serving as a chase plane for experimental aircraft such as the X-15 rocket plane and the Space Shuttle. Use in Military Over the years, the T-38 Talon has served with air forces around the world, including the United States Air Force, German Luftwaffe, the Turkish Air Force, and some former operators such as the Portuguese Air Force, the Republic of China Air Force, and Republic of Korea Air Force. In the United States, the T-38 is primarily used to train fighter pilots in advanced flight techniques, including dogfighting, aerial refueling, and night flying. T-38 Talon's superior performance characteristics make it an ideal platform for training pilots in supersonic flight and advanced aerobatics. Its design allows it to replicate the handling characteristics of modern fighter aircraft, making it an essential tool in preparing pilots for high-performance fighter jets. In addition to its role in pilot training, the T-38 Talon has also played a significant role in the development of some of the world's most advanced fighter aircraft. The aircraft's handling characteristics and performance capabilities have been used to inform the design of aircraft such as the F-15 Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, and F-22 Raptor. T-38 Talon Variants Actually, there's a lot of variants of T-38 Talon, but the active variants are the T-38A, AT-38B, and T-38C. T-38A is an upgraded version with Pacer Classic 1 and 2 mods, and AT-38B is an armed weapons training version. The T-38C is modernized airframe incorporating glass cockpits and upgraded engines. The T-38A is a basic supersonic trainer aircraft and the AT-38B is the lead-in fighter trainer fitted with a centerline weapon station for practice bomb dispenser. 
A program was implemented to upgrade the T-38A and extend the service life of the aircraft. The program included new avionics and propulsion and new structural elements, including the wings. The upgraded aircraft is designated T-38C. Wing Replacement for T-38 Talon in 2001, Northrop began producing replacement wings for the U.S. Air Force's T-38 training aircraft. The new wings are intended to keep the aircraft flying for another 40 years. The redesigned T-38 wings are constructed of aluminum alloys and are a single piece from root to tip. An interior honeycomb made of lightweight material makes up the wing's construction. Additionally, the business was hired to work on a better wing design that would quadruple Talon's service life. The Air Education and Training Command AETC, of the U.S. Air Force began looking at replacing the T-38 Advanced Jet Trainer in 2003. For Joint Specialized Undergraduate Pilot Training JSUPT, the Air Force still uses the T-38 as its most modern jet trainer. The aircraft's operating life will likely last well into the early 2020s, giving it a lifespan of more than 60 years. The next generation of advanced jet trainers has been delayed due to the combination of aged airframes, financial constraints, and increased JSUPT training demands for fifth-generation fighters. There's a perception in the sector that the Air Force cannot continue to delay the creation of a new trainer for much longer. According to current forecasts, the new trainer should be reportedly chosen by 2019 or 2020 and ready for use by 2023 or 2024. According to the Air Force, the initial order will be for 350 aircraft, although numerous reports indicate that the production could reach 1,000 or more. In conclusion, the T-38 Talon is a historic supersonic trainer jet with a rich legacy of service to Air Forces around the world. Its contributions to aviation history, both as a training platform and as a research tool, cannot be overstated. As we look to the future of aviation, the T-38 Talon will continue to play a vital role in preparing pilots for the challenges ahead. Thank you for watching, and please check out the U.S. Military Power Channel for any upcoming new videos.